Welcome to Come and See, your podcast for finding truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. With host and founder, Richard Case, and co-host and retreat leader, Kathy Riccone. Join us every weekday at this time to discuss news, spend time in the Word, and receive answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. And now your host, Richard Case. Well, good morning, Kathy. Uh, happy Monday. Good uh, morning. Happy Monday. Here in October. Um, we have just, uh, you know, as we know, we tape these early. We've just come back from your neighborhood. We got to see you face to face. It was uh, so nice. I, if we had been thinking, we should have had a camera out there and done a podcast on the lake, I think. We were, Kathy and I were on the, <laughs> on the lake called uh, Winnipesaukee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> lake Winnipesaukee. I love saying that. Winnipesaukee. Um, <laughs> and it was beautiful. Uh, and we were out there on the lake uh, with a group and uh, of our leaders, actually. And uh, what a joy that was. Uh, it was so much fun to see everyone and just uh, enjoy that time together. Hang together and share uh, life together. Talk about uh, God's will uh, and for them and for us. And uh, Kathy had to uh, get back uh, home for her daughter because uh, you remember, and this is this actually will lead us into our discussion today. Hmm. Um, you received an instruction, uh, hey, this year, pay attention to your daughter. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and um, this is, uh, she's a senior getting ready to go to college, last year at home. Uh, and she he just said, you know, pay attention, make room for her, prioritize her. Uh, as, it, as, as I speak to you, you know, week by week by week, you know, mm -hmm. so it's not a program. Um, right. And we got to help, we're, we'll help understand that when, when he says, uh, here's what I have for you. It's not, okay, great. I got it. I'll go take care of it and fix it, you know, uh, right. arrange it all, but rather, okay. Um, I, I see that instruction and we're, and we're going to talk about what does that look like? Uh, but, uh, you are faithful to that, including we were together, uh, and she was able to drive over. She had to help her, her husband get ready for a, a conference and get that all set up, um, at a different location. And then she was able to come over, Kathy, you were able to come over. And then you said, hey, by the way, yeah, I'd love to stay for dinner, but I've got to go back yep. to, your, to your daughter. Talk, talk just a little bit about that of, of just uh, how is that following God's instruction for you and why, and why that was so beautiful and joyful for you. And then you wasn't like, well, man, this is hard. Maybe I should stay. Maybe not. No, it was, it was actually pretty easy for you. Right. Really, you know? It was because he has made it clear. Yeah, I've shared on here before. Um, he really has highlighted, you know, you talk about the things we've talked about Christ clutter in the calendar before a little bit and, and how God will um, hone us in on certain things that really are our assignment for, for whatever season. And um, I do like to recycle that with him every few months and just make sure I haven't added things back in that he does not intend me to be spending time on and that I'm really focusing where he's working. And so um, like Rich was sharing, um, God really highlighted um, at the beginning of the school year, this is you know Anna's senior year and, and this is part of your assignment in the season. I want you to know there's gonna be joy in prioritizing time with her. And honestly, because her schedule is as it is, um, just the requirements of being a senior and, and doing, you know, college applications and everything that goes with all of that. Um, the windows of time are more limited. And so he really wanted me to have bandwidth to be flexible, um, in terms of bending more to her schedule and prioritizing that, that sweet time with her. So, um, you know, it looks a little different at, at every turn. And one of the things he has me doing is working out with her. Um, and so even that day, so, you know, I, we're out on the lake, it's beautiful. And, and Scott looks over and he's like, sunrise is 15 minutes away. Can't you stay a little longer? And I knew in my heart, yep, I could sit on the lake and see the sunrise, but God has something bigger and prettier for me waiting at home right now, because I had, I had committed to her, um, that I was going to be home for a certain time. And honestly, the thought was we were going to go work out together because that was the window. And when I got home, she's like, you know, mom, I'm really fatigued today. Could we just sit and enjoy talking together? 
And so, you know, I drove, I saw the beautiful sunset on the drive home, all the colors. And I was in anticipation knowing that God had anointed time together for the two of us. And so, yes, there was something I was giving up, but I knew I was stepping into something that was his best. So there's good and there's his best. And so I was stepping into his best and it, his best that night didn't require me woohoo, to go get my butt kicked at working out and getting super sore at the gym. It actually was curling up on the couch with her laughing and watching some shows and just sharing stories and getting to have time. Y'all Dan was away for the, for the Bixby leadership conference. And, um, it was just time she and I just talking and laughing together. And it was a sweet, sweet blessing. So, you know, he just had it perfectly orchestrated. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you had said you were waiting for the sunrise, but I think it was the sunset. Oh, so. sunset. Yes. <laughs> I, I do that. You know. Uh, but we, you know, we get up real early and, uh, uh, and we're always out before dark and already, uh, it was but, sunset though. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. So we were, uh, and, and Lynn and I got to see the sunset. Um, it was just magnificent over the lake, mm -hmm. uh, that we were participating in and got the experience, you know, that joy, but that was, that was even a, you know, even at the time when, um, you know, we, <laughs> uh, we're kind of saying, oh, come on, Kathy, you know, stay a little bit longer, you know, <laughs> we, uh, we want to enjoy you a little bit further and, and well, yeah, but, um, I understand my call, uh, cause I'm being obedient right. to my instruction again. And the beauty of this, which we'll get into, it's not out of, uh, obligation, out of invitation. I'd better, I'd better do this correctly and okay, fine. Um, it's out of a understanding of who God is, and that is yeah. God's best is, is absolute. That's why his will, and we keep saying it, his, his will is best and none better, so that yeah. in this scenario, you don't, you really don't have consternation. Is that, well, my call is to this, and I'm gonna go do mm -hmm. that, and then um, you got to experience what God had in mind. Exactly. Uh, which is, you know, which is beauty and, and wonder, so that, uh, as we talk about God's will, we, we, we talked, you know, last time about David and Kayla and um, being able to check in, what we call check mm -hmm. in, uh, and follow instructions. Uh, God uh, needs to move us and get us to the right time at the right place with the right people for him to fulfill it. And, that, and what you just described as a great example is you're not, you're not controlling that time. Right. You're you're being asked to get to that time and then let mm -hmm. me let God say, let me fulfill what I have in mind and do things supernaturally at that place. I just need to get you to the right place. And right. So the instruction, you know, and this is important to try to understand this because we tend to think, um, well, tell me what I'm supposed to do. Mm hmm. Uh, I'll work really hard. Uh, actually, uh, I'm, wor I'm working with some people right now that are struggling with this yeah. because their bent is, I, got, I better do it right. I better do it right. I better do it right. I got to get it right. I got to get it right. And the focus is on, on me mm. performing correctly and okay, I'll, I'll do it to prove it. And I'm trying to help them understand, no, it goes the other direction. It's God yeah. inviting you to his best begin to realize that. Um, and then he says, I do have guidance for you to get and stay with me on my mm -hmm. path. Remember, we said he's going to direct our steps along, along his path. So it's a it's a way of 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 not looking at really what I need to do. It's rather what are you doing and, and where are you taking me uh, in order for you to give me the covenant life, blessed to be a blessing, mm -hmm. the abundant life, uh, super abundantly, and all the issues of my life getting resolved, I know that I'm going to be getting instruction. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Well, there's steps that that we are are to take of our action of moving in the right place. So uh, let's look at that uh, in Scripture, uh, and we're talking now about. Uh, and, and let me let me try to describe this as best I can. There's a difference between obedience and following. Yes. Um, when when you, we are taught obedience, even <laughs> even as children or as parents, mm -hmm. it's you know, uh, and I can still remember some of the <laughs> some of the times, you know, uh, and I was a. Uh, I would I would say they would characterize me as uh, as a kid. They were, I was precocious. 
Uh, <laughs> I and, can see that. <laughs> yeah, and not willing to, uh, not unwilling to challenge anything, you know. And mm -hmm. you know, I can remember, uh, you know, my parents or my mom saying, you know, do this, mm -hmm. and I'd say, no, I don't want to do that because I don't understand it. Why? Why do you want me to do that? And the answer would be. Because, because I said I so. Said so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that leads into uh, a, okay, fine, I'll obey to prove, and you're, I'm under your authority. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand it. I don't really um, receive it. I'm doing it out of, uh, in a little bit of consternation. Um, mm -hmm. And he says, well, I'm asking you to follow me, which includes... Mm -hmm the struggle of I, I'm having difficulty understanding this instruction. I'm having difficulty right. following through on this instruction. I'm having difficulty um, uh, understanding in light of that it doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll talk about that. Uh, so, so first of all, we set up the premise is that when he talks about uh, following uh, uh, in obedience, it's, uh, have a heart to let me lead you and guide you. So let's, let's look at that. So go to John uh, 14, uh, 19 to 24. John 14, 19 to 24. And if you All would, right. go ahead and read that for us. Sure. Yet a little while, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me because I live, you will also live. In that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and keeps them, he it is who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him and will come to him, we will come to him and make our home with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. And the word that you hear is not mine, but the Father's who sent me. Yeah. Uh, lots in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, he's uh, portraying it all in the concept of love. Right. Um, we love you. We, by, by the way, the Trinity, the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to make our home with you. Right. Uh, and the word there is more than just, I'm present. Because we know and we're believers that the Holy Spirit enters us. Right. Uh, but he's, he's going further with that and saying, well, have you allowed us <clears throat> to make our home with you? Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and you? And you actually could, could portray this. You, you left us and you went home. Yes. Okay, when you went home, what did you do with Anna? That's my resting place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, what, yeah. and what did the two of you do? I, we just went and hung out. Yeah, you had we fellowship. You had fellowship. spent time together, yeah. You spent time together. You had fellowship together. So that he's trying to say that this whole life with me, God speaking, is for us to, to dwell together, uh, live together, enjoy each other together. Mm-hmm under my leadership because uh, I'm the one, God speaking, that can deliver to you the best. Mm -hmm. uh, but let us make our home there. Uh, and it's out of my love. So he said, if you love me, what will you do? Keep my commands. He says, keep my words. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a lot in there. So <laughs> uh, number one, if I'm going to keep his words, what's kind of important to start I with, I know what they are. Well, I got to hear. Hearing I got to hear what he has to say. <laughs> uh, and see, he purposely says it that way. Is that he says, "Don't don't obey logos. Mm -hmm. Just blindly obey logos and make it law." Mm -hmm. He said, "No, I'm going to speak to you. I'm going to instruct you. I'm going to guide you step by step. Remember um, uh, that he's guiding our." stepping along mm -hmm. the way of, I, well, I got to show you the path. I got to show you the steps. Mm -hmm. So I am going to take logos because I'm not going to violate that truth. And that's the standard right. of, of it. And now I'm going to instruct and apply that to you uh, personally by what I say. And so uh, our, if you look at it, really our primary process 
is to hear what he has to say. Right. Uh, so is that verse, verse uh, 23, when it says, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Is that Rhema? It's Rhema. Uh, okay. And uh, it's, uh, you'll follow what I have to say. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, let me apply it to you. Let me speak to you. I'll, I will, uh, speaking, not just writing what I, you know, uh, follow mm -hmm. what I've written. Uh, so he speaks that and says, your, your energy is really, do I discern, do I understand what it is you're, you're saying to me? And that's where, in a sense, most of your energy is going so that, because mm -hmm. <clears throat> what do you need? Well, you need clarity. Right. You need, uh, and he says, I'm going to give you assistance, which we've talked about, and we'll talk about it further. Uh, I'm going to give you uh, another person to confirm in unity mm -hmm. my, my will, my instruction, what I'm, what I'm speaking to you. Uh, and so that's why Linda and I spend a lot of time uh, on these things that we have issues and questions and, and things of life. What is God saying about it? Well, we got to mm -hmm. process that to hear uh, what it is he has to speak. And, and that primarily is say, him saying, here's what I'm going to do, mm -hmm. which is kind of beautiful. I'm going to do right. that. I'm going to fulfill that. Yeah, I got an issue. Don't worry. I've got it covered. Here's what I'm going to do with this. Um, and I'm going to guide you and, and uh, uh, speak to you about it. As you hear that, now you understand his path mm -hmm. and his promise. Uh, he will say, I have instruction for you. Keep my, right. my commandments. Keep, keep my instruction. So read that as instruction. Okay. Um, here's what I'm asking you to do based upon my, my kingdom work and my bigger story that I'm inviting you to. So... Uh, and we have a couple examples scripturally, and one one that you're illustrating is uh, I don't. We already talked about this one when uh, Paul was converted, Saul was converted, mm -hmm. and he goes to Ananias and says, "Son, I want you to get up, go and lay hands on him, and uh, uh, <laughs> uh, and help him become, you know, a disciple." Right. That's my instruction, um, and I'm giving it to you personally. Uh, I would like you to, and here's where he's located at this house, this street, uh, mm -hmm. very specific. He's very specific with it, right? And Ananias' response was what? Are I don't, you kidding I don't me? think so. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who you're talking this about? This doesn't sound uh, like a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I, I, uh, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, uh, I can't just say yes. Oh yeah, Sure. Okay, now this is important. Why couldn't Ananias just say yes? He has a heart to, but why he had could, a heart why to, couldn't he, he? Yeah, I don't think he had really processed that through with God yet, though, and, and he needed some confirmation from God on it. Because, we're, um, because there was real fear, real, real things that he had experienced that he had to work through to be able to step into that with faith. Uh, and where was it not settled, see, in his heart? Yeah. So intellectually, it's like, okay, I know you're asking me to do this. He could say, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. But he's, it's not settled. And he goes back to God and says, I understand what he, he didn't have any mm -hmm. difficulty understanding his instruction. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it. But <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me. Um, right. And I can't just say yes until you and I spend some more time processing you what else do you have to say to me and get me through this struggle so that i now can embrace with great enthusiasm what you've just mm -hmm. asked me to do and god says exactly um yeah. i i invite you to that it doesn't bother me one iota that the things i'm going to ask you to do might be a little bit of a t struggle mm-hmm well, let, and, th and this is where the following comes in. The following would be, I'm struggling with it, but I'm going to stay with you. Right. Because you'll work it through so that it's no longer a struggle. Uh, now, what about though? So I think about there are times, at least in my life, um, and maybe, may, I, so I don't know. I don't know how to phrase this. So clarify this for me. But yep. um, where I feel like there have been instances where he called me just to step out in obedience 
And I didn't understand it yet. And, and he said, no, obey it anyway. And I'm going to bring your heart. I'll bring your heart to match it. And so I think about, you know, years ago with tithing, um, it wasn't that my heart was 100% there. He said, trust me with it, step out, do this. And then he continued to show himself faithful and took my heart to where it became truly a joy. Well, it's the but same. The it, obedience came before. Well, it, yeah, and the it's, it's, it's the same thing. Um, uh, and, and again, this, this illustrates, first of all, there's no system to it. Right. Uh, it's relationship. Uh, you actually just described it. You were asked, eh, I don't know about this. Mm -hmm. What did God say to you? He said, trust me with it. Ah. Do it anyway. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something. Yeah. Through your obedience. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking you in this scenario that there's really nothing more for you to understand other than I will deliver something mm -hmm. that you're going to see if you take that, that step yeah. of obedience. And I had to walk through, I had to take that step in order to unlock the rest of the understanding in that case. Yeah. Um, and, and that's uh, a lot of times it's the, the next beautiful piece of this is after, <laughs> after you take that step. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, which is what you're illustrating is, well, I'm not completely settled, but God has spoken. See, mm -hmm. he says, yeah, I understand. I'm telling you, daughter, I'd like you in this case, I'd like you to trust me. Mm -hmm. I have something for you. Okay, what did you hear? Right. Well, God's trustworthy mm -hmm. and he has something for me. And because of just those right. two things that now you heard right. from I heard, okay, I heard the original uh, thing. I'd like you to tithe. Well, in that part, I could understand. Yeah. You know, I could understand. Trust me. Yeah. You know, that was settled in my heart. Well, I do know you're trustworthy. I've seen that. So yeah. I can act on that level, but I don't fully understand the rest of it yet. Right. Right. Know? And so it's not about, I got to have complete understanding. It's just that I have to go to a place where God has given me a clarity mm -hmm. about here's why you can take that next step. Uh, mm -hmm. And here's enough for me to demonstrate to you, including, by the way, by definition, we've talked about this uh, 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 lots. Without faith, it's what? Impossible to please God. What does that require? Well, by definition, it can't be by sight. So it can't be, okay, right. when everything works fine, yeah. I'll take the step. He says, no, you're going to have to trust me by, by definition of what right. I'm saying is, is true and, and be willing to go. Uh, and as I'm taking these steps, which he asks you to do, and okay, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I don't know about this tithing. Okay, daughter, um, um, I have something for you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you the benefit of this. Trust me. Right. That was enough for you in your heart to be settled. Okay, mm. okay, I'll take, okay, I'll take that step. Right. I'll take that right. step. Uh, and you weren't still stuck with it. And I've had people, even after hearing that, I've had people say, I don't think I can, I just can't do it because it doesn't make sense. I don't have the money to right. do it. And God says, okay, okay, let me, let me work with you a little bit longer. Um, mm -hmm. uh, not that I'm going to explain everything to you. Uh, cause if, if that's your requirement, then you've just decided you're God and I'm not, you know, and God says, right. I, I ain't going to let that happen. So, um, Follow me, follow me, ask me, talk to me, dialogue with me. Uh, I'm going to explain it, including I'm going to say things like he said to you. Mm -hmm. And that was enough to settle it in your heart. Okay, I, I, I got that. Let, you know, let's go. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, he said the same thing in a sense to Ananias. Is, I am telling you to right. do this. Paul is going to be one. Actually, he told him something cool. I mean, he's going to be one to take the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. uh, and all these things that you've raised up, I know, I know it's not completely settled because in your own heart, you won't get it settled until you go. Right. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so, but I'm going to tell you enough for you to say, okay, got it. Uh, uh, I'm willing to go. Uh, and so the, but, and so there's a heart to follow. Mm -hmm. um, and as we, as we learn it, it, he says, you'll experience my love. What's my, what's God's love? Um, well, my love is, is his emotion 
and his ability toward me is I'm going to deliver to you the covenant. I'm going to deliver you best and none better. So always my will is born out of that. So will you learn to just follow me and have a heart to follow right. me and stay with me always? Why? Well, mm -hmm. because I love you. Right. Uh, and your love for me would be I trust that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to be with you. I'm not going to go off on my own. I'm, I'm going to follow you. Uh, so he says, uh, keep my word and let me give you instruction. Okay, go to the next one. Go to John 15, uh, 9 to 15. Okay. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. No longer do I call you servants for the servant doesn't know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends for all that I have heard from my father. I have made known to you. Yeah. So he says that the purpose, uh, if you love me, you'll, you'll be obedient. And obedient, we've talked about, is following, uh, keeping, uh, what I'm speaking, mm -hmm. instruction. Um, he said the purpose of that is so that what? You can receive what? My joy. Right. Um, and it'll be full. <laughs> and it'll be full. And so it works both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, is that uh, think of God's joy. Mm -hmm. and you following him into his best. Right. Why does that bring him joy? Because he wants to be with me more than anything. But yeah. And he has plans. <laughs> he has yeah. plans for me that are joyful. And just like we delight to do things for our children, he delights to do things for us, yeah. you know, and, uh, and to walk us down that path. The um, uh, As a parent, there's nothing more joyful Mm -hmm. than for you to give something, perform something, provide something to your children. They receive it and they rejoice at it. Right. Uh, and, and your joy is, is over the top. Uh, it's, just, mm -hmm. it's just there's nothing better than that to get it all planned out, invite them to experience it. They experience it. And you you get to participate in their joy. Absolutely. Which, which it's like you Christmas would, morning. It's Christmas morning, which, <laughs> which you get to provide. Um, uh, and then um, uh, as we look at giving it away, mm -hmm. uh, we were, you know, uh, we did this retreat this last weekend with a group that is um, been meeting together and uh, uh, are part of actually Rick Ferris's group that we've, we've had yeah. on the show. Uh, and he's been, but there were a few couples there that, that have been on the show, right? Yeah. Trish and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Dean, Trish and Dean, her Dean, 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 and Trish, and, yeah. Dean and Trish and, and uh, April and Ned, April I think and were Ned. there. Uh, yeah. and Bernie and Daryl. Uh, mm. so they That's were all right. there, uh, and yeah. others of the group that Rick's been, uh, pouring into. Right. And leading them into God's will. Uh, well, so we get together for the weekend and we, we have this wonderful, exceptional time together mm -hmm. uh where they're growing we did a a uh, one of the topics called uh, overcoming adversity which i'm sure we'll right. get to get to on the podcast um and it was just terrific uh and so at the end of it we go down to dave dave dunkel's chapel and um which is beautiful uh mm -hmm. and we celebrate together with worship and uh time in the word and then people stand up and share this weekend meant this to me Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, it was over overwhelming their joy mm, at what the whole, whole weekend had meant with fellowship, the place, the beauty, mm -hmm. uh, the word of God, the, uh, the work of God, uh, to the point where they said, if, if we could, could we just keep staying here? <laughs> <laughs> um, Nobody wants to go home. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and Dave and I, uh, uh, with Melissa and Linda, uh, and Tom and Suzanne Ewing, that were there leading, helping leading worship. We we discussed it, and we mm -hmm. and here's the here's the statement: Is there anything better than that? Mm. Uh, uh, for sweet. us, 
to together give it away. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're sheepdogs, so we're just giving away what we've right. been receiving. Um, and we don't have anything to provide or to uh, persuade. It's just to give it away, get them in the word and provide the environment, provide the opportunity. And our joy was over the top. Uh, right. At, at their, Absolutely. At their receiving God's joy. Um, yeah. And that's why he says, um, my joy is fulfilled through you following me into the places that I can deliver to you my joy. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So as we look at an instruction in obedience, uh, it's, not, it's not out of I'm doing it to have you prove to me that you're going to be obedient regardless. Mm -hmm. It's, well, wouldn't you want to? Right. Uh, why? Well, because I'm going to deliver to you best and none better. I'm going to I'm going to bless you to make you a blessing. And the more and this group is an example of that, the more mm -hmm. that they experience it. The more they understand it. Right. And by the way, right. guess, guess what? Their hearts to follow him increases dramatically because mm -hmm. it's not out of duty. It's out of the heart to follow because I what I love God and God loves me. Right. Uh, it's, wow. it's beautiful. Um, Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 28, uh, just to look at something, and then we can kind of give some uh, specifics to this. Uh, go to Deuteronomy 28, uh, 1 to 2. Okay. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then just read verse 15, which is the opposite of that. So we get a kind of a, mm. a book into yes. that. Okay. But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord, your God, or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> um, so he says, if you hear, mm -hmm. have a heart to hear and mm -hmm. follow. Okay. You're following. Who are you following? him you're yeah. following god see it's it's he's he's you're you're moving with him because he's leading us mm -hmm. we're following him into his very best uh, which he then describes in the next 14 verses mm -hmm. all the beautiful promises that that provides us uh, he says the blessings will will do what literally overtake you. And right. I love the way you teach about this. Are you going to go into this word yeah, a little bit? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. the word overtake is that it's coming from behind. Mm -hmm. um, and so as you think about you're, you're walking down the path, following God, the blessings are starting to overtake you mm -hmm. and you now experience them. Right. And he says, as they do, keep following me. Mm -hmm. And now see, this is an interesting thing to me, because I think this is something that if we're not careful, we can get backwards too. is we start chasing the blessing instead of the God who gives them. Exactly. Uh, and so that's why I love this picture of it coming from behind. Coming it, from behind. Our eye is not on being blessed. It's on being with him and the blessings come naturally overtake us. Yeah. And, and uh, we, and our experience, that's why joy comes is that, yeah. wow, look, wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. Um, I can hardly wait to see what else happens as he goes next. If we stop, mm -hmm. turn around. Oh, I'd like to chase the blessing. Mm -hmm. God says, well, now you've, you've stopped everything. And that's why verse 15 is important. Interesting enough, mm -hmm. you're bringing yourself into trouble by you desiring to, to chase the blessing yourself. Right. And that's where, and, that, and it's kind of like what, what you uh, illustrated about the tithing is, I'm gonna bring you. I'm gonna bring you something cool. Mm -hmm. Trust me. Stay with me. Walk with me. Mm -hmm. Go forward. Be obedient to my instruction. And guess what? You experienced a blessing overtaking you. Mm -hmm. And when he did, he said, "Well, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how fantastic is that? I think I'll keep doing that." Uh, mm -hmm. why don't I keep doing that and walk with him and, and follow him? And, uh, and the neat thing is, is that, you know, he'll give us clarity and he, mm -hmm. again, he uses each other to assist that. So it's, 
okay, what does this mean and how do I process this? So like, for example, um, we were at this retreat uh, and um, we were actually walking down to the chapel and a couple uh, was just saying, you know, I have a, uh, I have a question that I'm seeking God's will about uh, and we're a little bit fuzzy on it. Um, and so uh, they basically said, um, should I do this or that? Mm-hmm. Um, and it had to, had to do with uh, some activity they're involved in. And uh, uh, they could do this activity or do that activity. And it wasn't clear to them which way they should go. Uh, and they're asking me this question. I said, well, uh, and, I, and I'm talking to the father. He says, well, they're asking the wrong question. Mm. Um, he said, they're asking me a binary question. Right. And God says, you know, I have a lot more to share than just yes or no. Uh, Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm not going to just direct your path all the time by telling me, you know, do, do, do I have a, do I, I figured out A or B, should I do that? <laughs> a lot of times you say, right. you don't even know what, 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 what I have for you. So no, don't put a binary question. I said, you're asking the wrong question. Um, and I said, you actually spoke it already. And he had talked about choices that they were making that were uh, more, more uh, base than that. Uh, mm-hmm. And it was about margin. Uh, oh, interesting. Where, where does God carry us to Mars? And he actually spoke that. He said, he said, this is part of my process to understand margin. Mm-hmm. And I said, okay, you just spoke the wrong, you just asked the wrong question. The question is, what do you have to say about this in relationship to what, what you've already been telling me, which is margin? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I said, as you process that with, uh, together, you got to find out, does God even want you to be involved in this, this whole uh, organization at all? In any of it, right? In any of it. I said, that will, that will be your answer. Mm. Uh, go find that out. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, got it. Um, and so they were seeking instruction. God says, let me give you, I've already spoken something. Mm-hmm. Margin, okay, you're starting to understand that. You have an issue. You've taken mm-hmm. it at this level. I got to take it to a deeper level, right? And let me instruct you. Go to that level, and then, by the way, I'll show you the answer at that deeper mm-hmm. level, which will then answer your first question. Uh, and so, and again, but with a heart to follow, it's like, okay, I got, uh, okay, great, we got it, um, and it's going to be fun because I know they're going to go through the process of. Mm-hmm giving me the instruction, show me the way, help me understand it. And they'll rejoice when they receive the answer because they're not going into it with, well, yeah, but I want to make sure that I stay with this organization. And God says, well, I I thought you wanted my best. (laughs) (laughs) Um, And do you have a heart to get my best? Which they do. And it's like, yeah, sure, absolutely. So yeah, let's go do that. We can hardly wait to see how God's going to answer that to give his instruction because I would like to have the blessing overtake me. Uh, right. And I'll just follow that. So God says, I will guide you as I speak and say things and say, pay attention. Now, let's go the next step and let's go the next mm-hmm. step. And I'll guide you as you're looking for what, what do you have to say so that I can follow you into the place of you providing the blessing to me. Yeah. Can I pause you for just a second? Um, It just kind of struck me. We have recently, I don't know if you've been watching the numbers, but there's been a a pretty significant jump in the number of listeners and viewers here. And as you're talking about hearing his voice and everything else, I want to remind people, you can go back to the beginning of the podcast and, and hear when um, Rich really teaches on what, you know, how we hear his voice and how we are intended to. And if you're listening to us speak about this now and think, okay, what in the world are they talking about <laughs> hearing from God? This information is on here. I mean, we reiterate it through, um, through also in other, you know, in other podcasts, but I, in the very beginning of this podcast, if you go back and listen to those about my sheep, hear my voice, and what is it like to hear from God? There's some pretty foundational truths there that if you are newer to the podcast, I would, I would highly encourage you go back and pick those up. So you understand a little more foundation of where we're coming from. Yeah. Um, and then also, uh, I'm just putting up the website, uh, at, uh, uh, afjministry.com. Um, you can go to the website uh, we have uh, what's called an online school, 
Mm, true. Uh, and there's a whole course on abiding and, and hearing God's voice and going to unity, yes. uh, as well as all these other ones that we have, so that you can you can uh, jump to that uh, and register with that, and you can go through it at your own speed uh, with video and join us the way it's really yeah, clever. Yeah, you can even order a workbook on There's Amazon that work, goes with work, it work, if you don't comes, want to download it or whatever. Workbook comes with it, and uh, uh, and you can go through that. Uh, uh, with your spouse or with even your friends or yourself. Uh, and, the, and the beautiful way we wound up doing it was we actually have you join the group <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, in the video <laughs> itself. So it's really co- clever, you know, how it, how it works. And, and you have a chance to work through it. And then we're always open, you know, for, for further questions. So that's, that's a good point, uh, Kathy, is that uh, uh, as you're maybe getting exposed to, well, I'd like to be able to, you said we got to hear his, his word to be able to follow mm-hmm. his instruction. Uh, how do we hear his word? <laughs> right, uh, right. And we're happy to help you with that. And uh, and, and and by the way, uh, one statement we'd love, we Kathy and I both would like to make is that um, if you have a heart to hear, you'll start hearing. Absolutely, one hundred percent. The questions that we have about even uh, as we're talking about, uh, well, how help us understand what that means and what does that look like. God says, I'll get you the answer mm-hmm. in a way that you can understand it today. Yes. So, and again, the illustration we use is that, you know, if I've got a, which I've, I've had, I've had my grandsons are about three years apart. And when one was 11, the other was eight, they could ask me the same question. Mm-hmm. I, I give them the answer. The 11 year old says, understand it. I got it. Mm-hmm. Thanks. The eight year old says, I don't know. I don't have a clue what you just said. Uh, it doesn't compute for me. I don't say, well, shape up. Uh, you mm-hmm. should be smarter and you better be more mature and get with it and do some more study and, or wait three years. It's, okay, well, let me reorient right. my conversation toward you so that you can, you can understand it and receive it. And our experience uh, is that regardless of where you start, mm-hmm. and most people that started are neo- what I call neophytes. Right. Why? Because they've never been taught you can hear God's voice. Mm-hmm. Uh, they think it's wacky. Right. Uh, and those people that say they do, boy, that seems hypocritical, and I, right. their life doesn't seem to be balanced. And uh, and honestly, even you say neophytes, but not in the sense of like brand new Christians. Some of these, you know, we had ones this retreat this last weekend that have been in God's word for 30, 40, 50 years yeah. and know it well, and for the first time truly heard his voice right. this weekend. Right. So, so um, the beautiful thing is that God says, I can, I can have you start to experience me showing you my will mm-hmm. wherever you start. And, that, and God yeah. says, the burden is on me, not on you. You just have, do you have mm-hmm. a heart to follow? Let's go. And what we're trying to say is that there will be instruction. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's what I'm asking you to do. Uh, to get to the right place for for God to fulfill him. And the more that we learn that, we see, well, that's that's the best way to go. If he says Absolutely. if he says for me to do this, he kinda he kind of fulfills what he said to you, Kathy, is you will see more, mm-hmm. trust me. Right. You will see more, trust me. And the more that you And that truly is a snowball effect. Yes. You know, that little bit of trust that starts and he just grows it and grows it and grows it until it's a huge snowball. You right. Know? Right. Uh, and the more that you do, the more convinced and persuaded mm-hmm. and uh, the way you want to live is, well, <laughs> why would you not want to do that? Right. <laughs> because right. it's always going to lead to his absolute solution, his resolution, his beauty. So uh, we'll continue this discussion as we uh, move on into further details of God's will. But um uh, we've talked about obedience and tried to set it up what it really is. And God's heart mm-hmm. is, I'll walk you through the difficulty. Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand that some things won't make sense. I don't mind sharing more with you uh, mm-hmm. and having you understand it. And it is a walk of faith. And I'd like to show you that you can trust me. Uh, right. I am leading you. Take that step. And when you take that step, you realize that, wow, how beautiful uh, is mm-hmm. that and by definition see we can't walk by sight and say well when you prove it to me then i'll, I'll, stop. <laughs> I'll do it he says no uh, uh it's always do you trust my word 
mm-hmm. which is certainty in what I say, and it is going to have to come to a faith. He, he says, by the way, I'm the author and finisher of faith. I'll give it to you. Right, right. <laughs> uh, but stay with me and let me get you to that point. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and, and we'll enjoy it. So we'll talk more about that uh, aspect of uh, what it means to follow his instruction and the beauty of that. So we hope you have a, uh, a good uh, day today, this good week coming up. And uh, if you got any questions, you know, certainly uh, send them to us. We'll be happy to process them with you. Great. Thanks for joining us today. Have a great afternoon, everyone. We'll see you next time. Yep. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us for today's episode of Come and See, your podcast for truth in a world of chaos. Brought to you by All for Jesus Living Waters Ministry. Send us your questions and comments and tune in tomorrow for more answers to your personal questions about living life in God's truth. Remember, God's will is best and none better. His truth brings peace in this world of chaos. Thank you.